the best EcoFlow hack you'll ever see. Currently I'm pulling just over 1400 watts out of this power station, but it's actually gonna run for close to five hours because I've added this massive cheap expansion battery and you can see we're pulling just about 18 amps out of that. This is the cheap battery expansion you've all been waiting for. All right, let's do uh, two quick tests. Test number one, we're going to drain this battery and power station down. I'll just uh, dump uh, through this charge verter into my tower of power here. And uh, we'll just see at what point this power station shuts off in relation to uh, the state of charge of this big battery. I probably got the worst case scenario because I've got a pretty long uh, set of relatively small gauge cables. Uh, but we'll be able to see what happens with that. And then we're also going to push it pretty hard in conjunction with draining the battery down. And I just want to see if our connections stay uh, cool or if we have any heat build up anywhere or what. So that's what we're going to look at. Okay, we got the power station pegged at just about 1400, a little over 1400 watts. And over here on this battery, uh, we're pulling about 19 amps of current uh, out of the golf cart battery. It's estimating at this uh, current state of discharge, we're going to have over five hours of runtime, which is insane. All right, this has been running now for about 20 minutes at uh, full tilt, almost 1500 watts. And I've got a thermal camera right here. Let's first take a look at the battery. And the hottest thing is the screen, which is funny. That's registering at a whopping 74 degrees. Connections are cold, cold, cold. It's registering like 60 degrees on those. These are Fahrenheit temperatures, by the way. Now, the thermal camera makes the breaker look blazing hot compared to everything else. But uh, in reality, the hot spot on that is a whopping 78 degrees. So colder than your skin by 20 degrees. So that's nice and cool. So the hottest location is actually inside the plug here, but it's not where my plugs are plugging in. It's actually the part built into the Delta back at the back and it's 95 degrees. So still colder than your skin temperature. Well within okay operating range. And currently we're pulling about 20-ish amps through that uh, wire. So I think at least for this Delta II, it's going to be somewhat impossible if you've done this right to pull so much current that things really heat up on these wires. But I'll continue to monitor it here. Okay, a little longer here. Interesting to see uh, what uh, ends up happening here. We're at 39% on the Delta II. At least that's what it's guessing. Um, the battery over here, the golf cart battery is at 72%, uh, but notice we're drawing more amps now, 25 amps out of the battery. So as the voltage drops on the Delta II, we start getting more of a voltage differential and uh, more power starts coming out of the battery. In terms of temperatures, the screen is still the hottest thing on the battery at 77 degrees. The breaker, right in the middle of the breaker, is registering 95, so warm, but uh, still it would feel cool to the touch. And inside the plug port here, our hottest temperature in there is 99. So still well within range. Okay guys, we're like two plus hours into this test. In fact, I fully recharged my whole tower of power here and still had more battery to uh, deplete. So I'm just heating my garage here on a chilly night. <laughs> you can still see we're pulling about 1400 watts and still going strong. Now, something to uh, keep in mind is this percentage reading on your power station is no longer accurate with this setup. So don't freak out if you think it's like dropping really fast uh, because it will get to a point, it got down to like the uh, low 30s, high 20s and was just sitting there for a long time and it's now slowed way down. Just drop one more percent, but uh, we've still got 40% remaining over here on the golf cart battery. Still saying something close to an hour and 24 minutes. See that right there, what it's estimating. You can see considerable more current is coming out, 28 amps, almost 29 amps. This is working really, really well. Let's just take one more spin here with the thermal imaging camera. The uh, connections slash wires themselves are in the low 70s, so plenty cool. The hottest spot on our circuit breaker is actually in the middle of it, running at 111 degrees. So warm, but uh, certainly not hot. And on the internals of the plug here, 102. So not too bad at all. Okay, 
this test is all done. You can see uh, this uh, turned off and then came back up a little bit to 1% because a little more power trickled in from this battery. Uh, but you can see uh, it's registering 0% state of charge and they discharged all the way down to 46.62 uh, volts. Not too shabby. So we pretty much pulled full capacity on this battery, even with the slightly longer wires and stuff. That is very impressive. I thought this would end at like, you know, 10% or 7% remaining or something, but it drew all the way down to zero from this. Good job, EcoFlow. Impressive. All right, let's uh, plug this in and use the EcoFlow to recharge this. And uh, we'll see if we can get it all the way back up to 100%. Got it plugged in there. And you can see we're charging it over 1100 watts. And you can also see this says charging at almost 18 amps. Okay guys, a little over six hours later, this uh, is finally finished charging. We're at 100% on the Delta power station. And we made it all the way up to 100% on the Temgo. So I have no complaints over how these uh, two units cycle. Very, very nice. Probably the biggest uh, issue is if you're trying to do like remote monitoring on the EcoFlow app to see you know, what state of charge you're at, uh, that's not accurate. But this has very powerful Bluetooth, so uh, you can get a really good idea of what is happening with this battery on its Bluetooth monitoring app. So this is a win and a really fantastic solution. So let me know down in the comments uh, what other questions you have, what other tests you'd like to see. Comments can spur new content and uh, I really want to help uh, deliver on this uh, for you guys. So let's hear some thoughts and ideas and uh, we'll see where we go with it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hype. The five free things that just really, really help get my videos out there and in front of more eyeballs. I've got links to all this stuff to make this happen down in the description, as well as a link to my original in-depth video that shows you two different ways of connecting this up. You can connect things this way and still utilize external batteries you already have. This is the Delta II OEM external battery, but then I've simply spliced into the extra battery cable here and added this golf cart battery to it. So you do not need to abandon your extra batteries you may already own. You can easily still make use of those while still adding massive cheap power expansion. Now listen carefully when I put this in, you'll hear a little relay clip inside and you'll know that it's working when you hear it click. See if you can hear it. Did you hear that? It just clicked off and now it clicked back on. So that's how you know that it's active. I also have links down there for where you can submit uh, a question that uh, I'll provide very in-depth uh, detailed answers to, as well as a place to schedule uh, a one-on-one -on -one, uh, video consultation with me. So hopefully all those uh, resources uh, are beneficial and helpful to all of you. All right, we've always got more great stuff in the pipeline. So stay tuned, stay safe, and we'll catch you all next time.